Another very important feature of good conversational AI assistance is the ability to handle the deviations from the happy path. In this episode, we're going to talk about what these situations are and how do they occur and how conversation repair feature in Calm enables you to build AI assistance that can handle such situations very effectively. A happy path is uh, an ideal scenario of how a conversation would go. The user follows the lead of the assistant, they answer the questions, they provide the necessary details, and they stay focused to the general goal that they had at the beginning of the conversation. The deviations from the happy path happen when the user says something that is unrelated to the general flow of the conversation. For example, when asked to provide some specific details, the user responds with something that is completely unrelated to what the conversation is currently about. So let's say an assistant is about to make a money transfer and they ask for some clarifications about it. The user, instead of answering those questions and providing the details, responds with a question if they are indeed speaking to a bot. Another example of deviations from the happy path is when the user changes the context of the conversation mid-flow. So let's say the conversation is all about making a bank transfer and then suddenly the user asks the system to check their account balance. And last but not least, a very common situation is when the user would like to correct some of the details that they provided earlier in the conversation. So your assistant should be able to go back and uh, make the corrections. Handling the deviations from the happy path gracefully is essential for your assistant to be able to provide the users with natural conversational experience, while at the same time making sure that they can get closer to their initial goal. Calm comes with a feature called conversation repair, which is responsible for enabling your assistant to handle the deviations from the happy path. It comes with a list of patterns that can be understood as specific flows designed to enable your assistant to handle such situations. And all of them are available to you out of the box so you don't have to worry about implementing all of them from scratch. The best part is that you can always make modifications to available patterns to make sure that they suit your project needs. Now, let's go through the list of available patterns and later we will see how you can make all of the modifications. Those cases are digressions, when the user shifts from one flow to another in the middle of the conversation. For example, when the user first asks to make a specific money transfer and then switches to another request. For example, asking what is their current account balance midway through the conversation. Corrections, when the user updates the information about something said earlier in the conversation. For example, when the user corrects the name of the person they would like to send the money to. Cancellations, when the user halts the flow mid-conversation. For example, when the user starts the money transfer request and then cancels it. Chit-chat, when the user engages in the conversation with the assistant that doesn't affect the actual flow. A typical example of that is when the user asks the assistant if they are a bot. Completion. When the user concludes the flow by either achieving their initial goal or by abandoning the conversation. For example, when the user asks for a specific amount of money to be transferred and then abandons the conversation when the task is finished. Clarification. When the user's request cannot be easily identified and matches multiple flows. Very common for short one-word interactions like the following. When the user sends an assistant one-word answers, it can be difficult for an assistant to confidently evaluate what exactly the user is asking. Those kind of situations would be extremely challenging for traditional NLU-based assistants. LLM-powered assistants, on the other hand, are much better at handling those situations by asking the follow-up questions to better understand user's intent. Internal errors when the user's request cannot be handled due to internal system issues. Human handoff, when the user requests human assistance or when the assistant is incapable of handling the user's request. 
All of these conversation repair cases are implemented in Calm out of the box, so you don't have to worry about implementing them yourself from scratch. Here is a list of flows and their corresponding use cases. Pattern continue interrupted for digressions, pattern correction for corrections, pattern cancel flow for cancellations, and so on and so forth. You will probably notice that conversation repair flow names have a prefix pattern. This is how your assistant will know that these are conversation repair specific flows. The details of each flow can be found in the reference of process documentation. For example, here is how the default pattern human handoff flow looks like. It starts with a name, pattern human handoff, has a description, the name, and a specific steps, which in this case is simply sending a response that human handoff is not available. So what happens if you would like to make modifications to a specific conversation repair flow? You can achieve that very easily by taking the default implementation of a flow, writing it in a specific flow file, for example, patterns.yaml, and making the necessary changes. You can change specific steps, add custom actions, and more. Let's take a look at the actual implementation. Let's say we would like to modify what happens when an internal error occurs. We would like to simply change the response that an assistant sends to the user when that happens. First, we will take the default implementation of pattern internal error. This pattern includes quite a few checks to check what was the problem that caused the initial error. For example, checking if the user input was too long and similar. The modification that we will be making here is we're going to change the very last step, the utterance that an assistant will send back to the user when the actual error is identified. We will change it to action utter internal RASA response. Now for this change to make an effect, we will update our domain.yaml file and add the action utter internal error response. Inside of our responses section, we will add this action and add a specific text response that an assistant should send back to the user when an error is identified. This time it will say there was an internal error, please try again later. And finally, to make sure that the flow has been overridden, let's retrain the assistant using the command rasa train. Let's have a look at one more customization example. Human handoff is a very common feature in conversational AI assistants, which enables the assistant to hand over the task to a human agent. This situation can happen when the user actually wants to speak to a human agent or when the assistant is not capable to handle a specific task because the assistant is either not authorized to handle specific cases or they are simply incapable to handle a specific task. By default, human handoff in Calm is implemented with a simple response. I'm sorry, at this moment, it's not possible to speak to a human. If you would like to modify this behavior and actually implement the human handoff, you can achieve that as follows. So here again, we are going to start with updating the default implementation of the human handoff conversation repair flow. By default, this flow would simply send the user a message saying that human handoff is not available at the moment. We would like to update this behavior and to actually implement the human handoff. So we are going to write the flow this way. We are going to check if the user would indeed want to execute the human handoff, and we will check the slot for confirming the human handoff action. And if the user says yes, we are going to go ahead and perform the human handoff. Otherwise, this action will be canceled. We are going to implement this updated pattern in our patterns.yaml file, and then move on to updating the responses and actions. So first of all, we are going to implement the utterance for confirming the human handoff and the same for canceling the human handoff. Here, action human handoff will be the actual implementation of handing over the conversation to a human agent. This can result in a live conversation with a customer support agent, customer support ticket, or anything else depending on the system that you would like to implement. And the code for this action human handoff will be written as a custom action in your actions.py file. 
Conversation repair is an extremely powerful feature that can enable your assistant to gracefully handle unexpected interactions with the user and take the conversational aspect of your assistant to the whole new level. The full list of available conversation repair patterns with a full implementation is available on the documentation of Calm. I highly recommend you to spend some time investigating the implementations and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.